Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. So what am I doing today? Today I have to replace the ARB awning that's on the passenger side of the Mantis. Why do I have to do that? Well, I'm an idiot. That's why. We had a storm coming up. Uh, it kind of came out of nowhere, but we knew that there was a chance. We had the awning up at our campsite and a storm came in. My wife said, you know, we should probably put the awning away. I was like, ah, it's good. We've got guy wires. We got, it's all, it's fine. Storm comes. We're in the middle of a hailstorm. Mantis held up great for that, but I didn't have a pitch to the awning. So uh, the water started to pool up on the top of the awning. And suffice it to say, that awning is not made to hold that kind of weight. The, uh, the aluminum frame just mangled, broke a number of different parts. Um, yeah, so that happened. From there, I'm like, ah, it won't be too bad. We'll get some replacement parts. I see a couple of the telescoping feet. They're like $15 a piece, no big deal. But the piece that runs parallel to the, the base of the frame, uh, that, that big aluminum piece, that piece was really hard to find. Uh, I called a number of different vendors. Some people I know locally um, from CB Adventure Supply in Fort Worth, they helped out a ton and found someone who actually had the ability to get that piece. The problem is it's over eight feet long. And so shipping for that piece alone, not including purchasing the piece, just the shipping was $144. In the end, it became more economical to just buy a new awning. And so that's what we did. It did cost $321, that hurts, but it made more sense than to spend what was probably going to be $250 for just three new parts that I needed with most of that money being in shipping itself. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you. Uh, how easy it is to replace the awning. All you need is a 10 millimeter socket, 15 minutes of time. If you have a six foot ladder, that makes your job a little bit easier. So let's go outside and look. The only thing that you really need to do here is find the six bolts on the back of the brackets and remove the nuts. Be careful once you do this, you'll need to support the awning from underneath so that it doesn't drop and fall on you. So on the back of the awning, you have these T-bolts that slide into the channel. And then you take those bolts and you run it up through the bracket on the top of the mantis. And then you put the nut on. It's very simple. You have six bolts. Once you get the nuts off, the old awning will come off. Slide these T-bolts into the channel on the new awning. Put the awning back up. Put the six nuts on and you're good to go. All right, you're done. What? what are you doing? I was making a video. <laughs> You're sleeping. No, I wasn't. You're taking a nap. No, I'm not. Hi. I just need one minute. Why don't you use her for keeping the spider? Alright, you're done. The new awning is now on the side of the mantis. So what do you do now? As I see it, you've got three different options to choose. First, you can throw it in the trash. Second option is uh, some of these parts are hard to find. You can sell it off for parts to other people. Uh, whatever parts you have left that are in still good, in good condition, you can sell them off and maybe make a little bit of your money back. The third option, and what I'm going to do, is I'm going to keep the old awning. There may come a day where I'm an idiot once again, and uh, I need some parts, and I'll have it. And I've got an additional fabric in case the, the one I just put on goes bad over time. So again, those are the three options as I see it. Uh, if you have another suggestion as what you could do with this, please leave it in the comment below and uh, we'll talk to you there. All right, thank you.